Trump on the campaign. In this clip, he is going to address the corrupt legacy media. is going to call them out. And then on the second half of this clip, he is going to specifically call out Megyn Kelly by name. Check it out. And then you turn to fake news CNN. Oh, their light just went off. Their light just went off. The red light just went off. What do you think of that, Jim? Damn it. <laughs> That's my fault. I waited too long. I, you have to hit them fast before they can turn it off. No, it just went off. That's all right. And they'll say the speech was brilliant, not since FDR. You know, FDR was a great orator. Beautiful tone, beautiful. He was born in a very patrician area, to put it mildly. Very rich, very patrician, beautiful accent, beautiful words. He was a great speaker. And they said, not since FDR has a speech been so beautifully delivered. Do you believe this? No, do you believe this? I think Marjorie believes it because she was there. She saw. It's incredible. That DNC, I tell you what, I'll tell you what, you take a look at MSDNC, how evil they are. They're evil. They're sick. They shouldn't even be allowed to do what they do because it's so corrupt. They shouldn't be allowed to do it. They are fighting me. And to think that I had The Apprentice on NBC and I did so great for them. I said before the election, long before I started either, I said, well, one thing for sure, I did so much I made so much money for NBC. They hadn't had a number one show in years. They were dying. And that idiot Jeff Zucker was running it poorly. He was running it to the ground. And I came on and I gave them ratings like they haven't had in years. And when I said, I'm going to leave the show now, they wanted me to extend. Instead, they got Arnold Schwarzenegger. What happened is I said, no, I'm going to leave because, boy, are you quiet when you hear this one? Because you haven't heard this before. This isn't part of the repertoire, right? Right, Bert? You haven't heard this one, but you hear how quiet? It's almost like when I do The Snake. It's very quiet. And so then I got on television, and they asked me that horrible, horrible question, remember? And I said, oh, my dad, that's the first question I ever got. Megyn Kelly, may she rest in peace. She's sort of making a career by pretending she likes me. And then, so what happened is she asked me that horrible question about women. Women love me. You know, I protect women. I protected, I protect. They talk about suburban housewives. And look at that. These are suburban housewives from North Carolina. They followed me. This is their 117th rally. You believe that? 117. I don't know what the hell their husbands are doing. They're home at Lone Say. Is my wife okay? No, I mean, we're not so far, but you know, when they go out to Texas and California, there's like 40 of them, and they look great, but I don't think the husbands can be too happy. Are your husbands happy about this? Are they okay with it? Yes. Well, you have very nice husbands, I'll tell you. But uh, it was an amazing phenomenon, and, and I do protect women. Look. They talk about suburban housewives. I believe I'm doing well. You know, the polls are all rigged. Of course, lately they haven't been rigged because I'm winning by so much, so I don't want to say it. Disregard that statement. I love the polls very much. We're beating him by so much, but with the suburban, they always say suburban housewives, they want something that's very important, security. They don't want illegal immigrants coming into our country. They don't want illegal immigrants knocking on their front door and saying, I'm going to use your kitchen, and I'm going to use your bedroom, and there's not a damn thing. And that's when, that's the nice ones, okay? That's the nice ones. They want safety, they want security, and that's what I provide. I had the safest border in the history of our country. Now we have the worst border in the history of our world. 
I'm not sure if fake news CNN's light went off on their camera feed, but it wouldn't surprise me because very often MSNBC and others, I, I CNN probably as well, have turned off the live feed towards Donald Trump if they just simply don't like what he's saying. And of course, they'll make up their reasons why they'll say all kinds of stuff. But it doesn't really matter because Donald Trump goes after them here and calls them out for who they are. They are a corrupt organization. They are like the state media organizations that we see in other countries around the world, like in Russia and in China, where the state media is essentially owned by those countries. And I know Americans will look at that and they'll say, how could that ever happen? How could the state control the media? How could they let it get so bad? Well, you're watching it happen right before your eyes, where you have these media organizations who are beholden to one particular political organization. They demonize the other and Trump calls them out for who they are. And then he goes to Megyn Kelly. Now, Megyn Kelly had that moment when he was running for presidency and she said, well, what about women? You know, you've been calling women names and different things. She was essentially trying to make him look bad about women. Now, Donald Trump is not saying bad things about women. Donald Trump in particular, he's, this is when he said, no, just Rosie O'Donnell, right? But so Donald Trump takes this and says, no, I am not against women. That is not the case here. In fact, I'm very supportive of women. And the greatest support that he can give to women as the president of the United States is security. That's the best thing he could do to provide a secure and safe country. And I can tell you right now, if, if you're a woman out there, if you're a house mom, if you're older. It doesn't really matter what group you fall into. Our country is way less safe right now under the Biden administration with probably around 10 million individuals crossing during the last three and a half years. Donald Trump securing that border, tightening the rules, consequent sentences on criminals as much as he's able to do, deportation to the degree that he is able to do it, obviously working with Congress because the Democrats are going to try to stop him every step of the way. But I can guarantee you by executive order alone, he will make this place safer. He's saying this is what the women of this country want. They want a safe place where they know they do not have to worry. Now, you're never going to have a 100% safe location. There's always going to be issues around. But certainly you don't want to make it worse by just allowing millions of people who you cannot vet. It's impossible to come into this country. And then we're seeing all of this uptick in criminal activity, murders and the like. And then, of course, if you raise this fact up to the DNC or to Democrats or liberals, they'll just point it right back at Americans. Look how bad you Americans are. And you want to blame them? This is their go-to. Just blame America, blame Americans. What did you think about this clip in particular, calling out the media, calling out Megyn Kelly? I thought it was a good one. Leave your comments below. I'll catch you on the next video.